everyone, today we're going to be repotting a Cattleya type species. Um, this happens to be a Cattleya mosei, uh, which is a really easy growing, uh, to temperature tolerant, uh, small to medium growing Cattleya from Venezuela. Um, so this plant, as you can see, is in a two inch pot and it's been pretty overgrown in this pot. It should have been repotted. Uh, a few months ago it should have been repotted while this new lead was much smaller. As a result the roots have all grown out. Uh, what some growers will do uh, is they will just take a one size bigger pot, put this as is inside of this pot, and kind of hold it down and maybe surround it with a little bit of gravel or a little bit of rock or even some bark. I just don't really like that technique but it, it does work and some growers, professional growers, do it really really well. Uh, but what I uh, want to do with this is to just get it out of this pot, put it in a bigger pot, and try to do it with, with um, as little root damage as possible. And, um, and so I'm going to try to do it. Uh, so just take the tag out. And then what I like to do is squeeze the pot, kind of gently squeeze it. You can hear a little bit of cracking. It's not really anything breaking. It's the roots releasing from the sides of the pot. It's better that than just tugging. So uh, these roots, unfortunately, are probably going to get broken off. So sometimes what I'll do instead of just letting them strip, I'll just break them off now because they're going to get ruined getting out of this pot anyway. And then get a really nice firm grip on as much of this as you can get and just start to pull it out. At the same time, I keep squeezing this pot to try and release the roots. see it starting to come and the whole thing is out and I did pretty little root damage uh, you can see the roots are nice and healthy in there um, I've seen a lot of techniques I've read books where they'll just rip this out or cut it out or chop them off and take this old mix out I just don't think it's necessary I think it causes a lot more damage to the plant and these roots will regenerate they're still completely alive uh, when you mount stuff a lot of times you see these roots just sending out tons of new little leaves so all I'm going to do now Let's take my new pot, I'm going to take the oldest growth and push it against the corner of the pot. So this is my oldest growth, push it against the corner and hold it so that the newest growth, and the newest lead, and you can see there's a new lead right there and this obviously is a big lead. So I'm going to give this the most room it can possibly go. So I'm going to do that and just hold it in place and then because this is going into a three and a quarter inch pot, and it's already an established plant, I'm going to use a larger grade bark. Uh, if it was a smaller plant, I would use a small grade bark. Oh, and one other thing, always a clean pot. It doesn't have to be new, just make sure it's sanitized, cleaned with bleach, so that you're not spreading disease. And then I'll gently push the bark down. I don't want to jam it down. I don't want to break the roots. Uh, I just want to fill in the pot and that's it that's all I'm going to do and put the tag back in and that's it this is going to be good in there for at least a year this is going to get full size this new lead uh, right in there is going to get full size and then hopefully maybe I'll have two or three years and this will be a full flowering size plant so that's how to pot up a Cattleya type orchid. Thanks.